Hi guys, I hope you all are doing good. And today we are going to make activity diagram. Okay. So guys, if you have seen my previous videos, okay. So one of my video was about creating a use case diagram, right? For all the system requirements. Okay. So we create something called as use case diagram. Okay. Now today we will discuss what is an activity diagram. And guys, this activity diagram is closely related to use case diagram. Okay. Now, what is an activity diagram? Activity diagram, which shows the sequence of steps, okay, which the system performs in order to carry out a use case. Okay. So, what it is? So, for example, if we just if we consider the example of creating an account on for an email account, okay, okay, creating an email account, right? So, one of the use cases. For a mail server is create account. Create account. So now to carry out this use case, to carry out this use case, there are many steps which are performed so that this use case can be achieved. Okay. So all those steps can be shown using a diagram called as activity diagram. And all the steps which we do, all the steps which we do is uh, together, they are also called as workflow. Okay, so basically what is an activity diagram? Activity diagram is a diagram which shows all the workflow, okay, to complete a use case. For example, we will take this example of it, creating a account on an email server or creating a, so this is my use case. Now, all of you are aware of how do we create an account on a web on a mail server so what are the first thing you do right for number one you enter user name right to create an account what is the first step you enter user name so then what happens the mail server it checks whether this user name is available or not Okay, so check the availability. So it checks the availability. If it is not available, if it is not available, okay, if not available, then what do you do? You go to step one if it is available else no what happens is the system checks whether the selected username is available or not if it is not available it tells you to enter another username right if it is available you go to step three so what is step three you enter enter password right now the system checks whether you are that the username which you selected is available or not. So if it is available, so it prompts you to enter the password. Okay. Now after that, again, it checks the strength of the password. So all the mail servers, they have some rules of selecting the passwords, right? So again, what happens is check the strength. C H E C K check password. Right now again, check password. Okay. If okay, then go to next step, whatever. So checking password is step four, then go to step five else. Where do you go again? They prompt you to enter the password else go to step okay so then what is step five step five is that the password is okay the username is okay so when it gets it gives the confirmation to the user and end of it now if you see guys this use case is one to carry out this use case we have to do these five different steps we have to perform this five different steps okay so what these steps are called as 
These steps are called as workflows. W O R K. These are called as workflows. All these steps are called as workflows. And what is an activity diagram? Activity diagram is a diagram which can represent the workflow in form of a graph, or it is a graphical representation, or you can say it is a pictorial representation about a work about a workflow which we must do in order to carry out a use case. Now, guys, we have. the workflow now from this workflow we are going to draw an activity diagram so i will delete this as you know as you can see the board is small the board is small and explanation is more so all of you guys i hope remember the you will remember the steps okay now we are going to do it so here i will write the use case use cases create email account right so here is the use case use cases creating an email account now guys for activity diagrams always they start with the starting state and the starting state is donated by a black dot is donated by a black dot then from starting state we go to the first state right so this is donated by a this transition is donated by a directed arrow so what was the first thing you were doing you were entering the enter user name so that was your first state okay so when you enter the user name what the system is doing system checks the availability it checks if available it checks if available now this is a decision point and decision points are donated by diamonds they are donated by diamonds okay now for this decision point we can have two values yes or no right if available if available yes okay then what system tells system ask you to enter password isn't it system ask you to enter password if it is not available no then again system ask you to enter the user name right now for passwords also again the system again the mail server checks the strength as it it checks the strength if password is okay according to the rules of the mail password if password okay yes or no if it is not okay then again it ask you to enter the password again it ask you to enter the password if it is okay then what system does password is okay then what system does it sends you a confirmation mail and after you get the confirmation mail so here is the arrow i'm sorry so after you get the confirmation mail your this workflow is over so and the end state is donated by a bullseye and state is donated by a bullseye okay so if you look at this it is easy to understand easy to make right so this is a sequence diagram for the use case creating a email account now if you guys if you look at these two activities these two activities are done by whom these activities are done by okay i'll make it like this these two activities are done by the user and these activities are done by whom these are done by the mail server okay so and these lines in activity diagram which separates who is responsible for which activity are called as swim lines are called as swim lines so i'm sorry guys because of the limited space but i hope you will understand 
सो यूजर परफॉर्म्स टू एक्टिविटीज ही एंटर्स यूजर नेम एंड ही एंटर्स हिज पासवर्ड mail server what it does it checks the username it checks the password and then it sends the confirmation mail so this is the starting state black dot this is the ending state bullseye and these are the transitions these are the transitions which are donated by arrows which are donated by arrows so guys this is a activity diagram i hope this this makes it this example makes it clear to you uh so that's all so all of you if you like our video please subscribe to our channel and please do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you do not miss any notification okay so thanks for watching all of you have a nice day thank you